think what else? I want to stop at Ulta. I know, I know, I'm addicted I, to Ulta, I understand. But I went to Ulta the, the other day and I forgot to get a few things. I might want to get more lashes. I already have lashes at home, but I might want to get some more. Um, I also want to see if they have a nice spring, a nice springtime perfume or a nice rollerball perfume. I already have perfume already, but I kind of want to see about getting, trying a, something new or just something fresh. I really want to get the fresh Chance by Chanel in the uh, fresh. I don't know how you say that word. It's French, but basically the fresh by Chance by Chanel perfume. It comes in the green bottle. Well, actually, I believe it's a green liquid in a clear glass bottle, not a green bottle. And that's like my favorite springtime perfume. It's really fresh and uplifting. It's like a really floral green scent and that's kind of what I want. Now, so I might pass on that one. I'm, I'm really picky when it comes to my fragrance and it's just about finding the right one for the right time and place and the one that matches with my, my natural pheromones or my skin chemistry. So I'm not gonna be doing any vlogging in the stores. I always check out their bags and backpacks and I do check out their shoe section just to see if there's any like carry-on luggage or nice purses, duffel bags, handbags that they might have, cute clutches, wallets, purses, uh, mini bags and mini backpacks like brands like Juicy or Guess or Steve Madden, Kate Spade. I don't think they have Kate Spade. That's like super nice and fit. But they do have other designer brands. Mary Jane's extreme platform these are kind of cute <laughs> I hate pointy toe shoes you will never find me in these I know this is one of the most popular shoe styles ever but I will never wear a pointy toe heel, stiletto, or even flats. They're so ugly to me. And that's all I'm seeing right now is triangle toe heels. Does anyone else like, I only wear either strap open, if it's an open toe, then I'll do a strappy sandal, sling back, or wedges. Or I will do platform heels, uh, but they have to be a round toe or an almond toe. I don't do pointy like Louboutins or any type of pointed toe shoe. I don't, I don't, one, I don't like the look. I think they're ugly. They're ugly to me. And also I don't like the feeling of all my freaking, freaking toes crammed in the front of the shoe, just jam packed slamming into the front toe portion of the shoe, like right here. That is so uncomfortable if you're like me, if you have bunions, I can't, I can't wear shoes like this. They even have like loafers and flats that are pointed. Those are so fugly to me. So hopefully I can find some cute slides here. I don't really buy perfumes from Ross. I don't know why. I just think, I assume they're old and expired. Maybe that's not true. Uh, I might have to do some research on that. But I always do check their boots and shoes, sneakers, and flats and then the slides slippers and sandals usually they're sold out at this Ross so hopefully they're not sold out in my side because in my size because I do need some new slides and if not I may also head to the Dollar Tree to see if I can find some basic flip-flops or shower shoes so that's what I'm gonna do now now they do have cute shoes here just nothing in my size like look at these i would wear the hell out of these these are so my colors i love the hot pink details and i love the ease of the slip-on sneaker with no lace-ups i mean it does have laces but at the same time it's still a slip uh slip-on shoe love that for my gym or my walks or my workouts my yoga fitness whatever now, they do have a huge selection of sandals and slides, but nothing is really speaking to me. These are all in styles that are ugly to me, or they just all look the same or plain, or they have 
they're either too plain or they have too much logos and rhinestones and metallic and fake gold and detailing on them i was looking for a simple like fluffy slide and i'm not finding it here so i'm probably going to do some online shopping because i'm really picky about my shoes and it's time for me to get a new pair of slides i don't want a platform or anything crazy like a wedge or anything and that's what i'm seeing a lot of here i also don't want a cheap looking flip-flop style i really just want some cute slip on like slides with the little fur like more like a slipper style not even a slipper but like a slide but that is not what I'm finding here. I mean, they do have a good selection. They have designer and brand names, but none of these styles are attractive to me. They either have too much going on. They're in ugly colors. There's a lot of tan, a lot of brown. It looks more like beach wear and not, really what I need is some house shoes, you know, shoes that I can go outside in, but I can also wear indoors and I'm not finding that. So I'm going to keep searching, maybe do some online shopping. I'm going to hit up dresses and outerwear. How cute is this little backpack, mini backpack? Now, you will notice at Ross and other department stores that are similar, they have, they have their stuff on lock. Do you see that? It's literally locked up, which I get it. It's like, okay, I get it. But it's to the point where all these zippers are locked up together in all the pockets on the outside of the bag. So you can't even unzip to see what the interior is looking like. Sometimes it has a cute print inside the bag where there's like inner pockets and storage. And you can't even open the bag to see that because all the connecting points are locked together to where you can't even unzip the bag. So I don't know, but this bag is pretty cute. I just feel that the faux leather, this like faux leather look with the beige is probably gonna get dirty really quickly. Why did this Ross always have a lot of Daisy Fuentes? Do you guys remember the Family Guy episode where they talked about Daisy Fuentes? Who is Daisy Fuentes? I don't know, but all of her stuff, all of her merch is at Ross. Like all of her stuff is at every Ross. It's so funny. The problem with the bra sets is that there will be like a pack of two, right? Or a pack of three. And there's always that one color that you like and then the rest are like ugly. So it kind of like makes you want to impulse buy the whole pack. But I'm like, if I think about it, only one out of three of these bras would I actually wear. The other two are kind of like throwaways. So I decided I'm not going to get any of these. Uh, I might have to just shop online because this is getting to a point where I'm not seeing anything that I like in my size. And then who has crazy, like who has quadruple D boobs? Like why are there always extra, extra large size, crazy size F bras like in the department store? Who has boobs that big? Is it just me or that's crazy? I mean, some of these are cute, but they're just not my size. They're like for someone with ginormous boobs, which is clearly not me. Now these shirts are always really fun from Ross. They have like cute little sayings on them. Like even the name of the brand is really cute. They have little like travel ones, little like desert t-shirts. These are so cute. And I love how it's like that faded t-shirt, like cotton material. They have like the little biker ones. They have some fake band t-shirts, little like band tour vacation shirts. These are really fun. I sometimes like to buy these from Ross. This one has Joshua Tree on it. Oh, that's cool. It's actually, the graphic is actually on the back of the shirt. I love when the design is actually on the back of the shirt or the hoodie. This one has a butterfly on it. These are so cute. I might actually get one of these. I'm still like deciding what I want to get. I mean, I'm just looking, but. 
These are cute. It has This one has like a sun and a moon on it. Then they have like the little motorcycle ones. They have a beer one, but I'm not into beer. <laughs> so far, this one is my favorite. I like the hot pink and the little cactus is really cute. And it says California on it because I'm from California, so. I might get this. Let's see like how much it is. If it's less than $5, I might get it. Oh, it's $8.99. Well, it's pretty cute. I might get this one. This is a t-shirt I got. It says Joshua Tree, and it's in this like faded gray. Like it's in like a faded heather gray. And then it has hot pink text on it. It says Joshua Tree, California. And then the back of the shirt. I like it when shirts have the graphic or the logo or the design is on the back of the shirt or the hoodie or the t-shirt. Like that way when you turn around and walk away, the, the graphic is on the back. So I thought that was really cool. They had other ones that were similar to this that were in other styles that were really cute. They had like band tees. They had like the ones with MTV on it. They had like the ones with the motorcycle stuff on it for like that, that rider vibe or like that moto vibe or like that, that kind of American, they had that American vibe or that Western vibe or like I they said, they had like different little styles on them. Uh, they were all super cute, but I just like this one because I like the that it has pink. I has it has like cactus on it Like when you're it literally has the Joshua tree on it. I don't know if it's called a Joshua tree I've been to Joshua tree. That's a crazy story. Maybe I could tell you About what happened there a lot of crazy stuff happened there a lot of stuff went down But it has a little sunset on it and these these color it's colorful and vibrant when you're going for those desert vibes or that road trip. So this will be a good casual, you know, summer outfit. I can't get through the driveway because this guy's playing games with his wooden board laying flat on the road. At least he's attempting to move it for me.